What's up guys, so today in this video I am filming a Q&A which I've been meaning to film for a while. Um, sorry I haven't uploaded in a while and I'm coming back with this B content bullshit. But, you know, whatever. Uh, a relevant video you should check out is a QA and a I did like a month or two ago, I put a card to it right here. So yeah, check that out if you want, you don't have to. But yeah, I'm just going to film this little Q&A video. Also, before this starts, um, check out this clip right here. That was me power kick flipping off of a hubba into a bank. It's pretty cool. Um, you might like it, you might not. But yeah, into the video. So I gotta get there. I'm unprepared. Okay, so for starters, I got a shit ton of questions, and I don't know if I'm gonna get to them all, but I'm gonna try to get to as many as I can. I asked on Instagram and on Snapchat, and my Instagram and my Snapchat are in the description of every video, but if not, I have Instagram right here, and then I'll put my Snapchat right here. So from the homie Anthony, Anthony Alcaraz, why did you start YouTube? Um, I think I answered this video in a previous Q&A that I pointed to earlier. But, yeah, I don't, uh, I like filming stuff, and even like five, six years ago I was uploading videos of, like me playing Minecraft and stuff. So, yeah, I don't know why I started, but it's really cool. You, anyone that doesn't do it, actually it doesn't matter if you do it or not, but I do, I, I enjoy it. And then from the homie Cole, I know you're watching this Cole, because you got post notifications on. Hey, yeah. Hey, fans are make a day. All these cheeks popping pussy, I'm just popping bang. He said, how long have you been skating for? I also think I answered this in the last Q&A, but the short version is a consistent five years. And he also asked, I don't know if you're getting to this question, but have you ever tried snowboarding? If so, where? I have not tried snowboarding, but I want to. So yeah, if I do ever try it, I'll vlog it. The homie Danny asks, what's the easiest trick to do on a ledge for you other than 50-50? Well, actually, the easiest trick for me to do on a ledge is not a 50-50. Uh, I can do that trick pretty easily, but a lot of the times, or about 40% of the time, no, no, about 30% of the time, I lock into a front feeble, which I can still actually land when I do that, but yeah. Um, the easiest trick to do on a ledge for me is backside crooked grind. That trick's so fun, I love it. Tell me Sean, Sean Brown, um, check out this video I made not too long ago or probably about a month ago-ish, called Sean Brown's Tinder. Put a little card to it right here. Yeah, check that out. And then he was like, you copier, why are you always copying me? I'm not always copying you, but okay. Um, if, if I do copy you, it's because you're my biggest inspiration. Whoa. Just kidding. Sean's the homie, though. And this kid, Jake underscore Brenneman 134. Shout out you, Jake. I know you go to a skate park. He was like, how are you better than me at scootering and you skate? Scooter riding's easy if you can skate. It's like a skateboard with handlebars. It's so easy. Sh should I make a scooter edit? Yes or no? And then the homie Peter asks, would you rather get in a fight with a scooter kid that's in the way or a scooter kid who is making fun of you? What? Okay, this is going to sound weird, but I honestly like it when people make fun of me, because it's pretty funny. So yeah, roast me in the comments below. I'm going to leave a poll on, like, did you roast me? Like, well, I get offended. Try to hurt me so bad. Roast me as hard as you can. But yeah, I don't really fight that often, but uh, I'd rather fight a scooter kid that's in the way. But honestly, though, like, I'd, I'd wait a minute before that happened. Yeah, I don't see myself fighting a scooter kid anytime soon. I have got a couple more questions to answer. I think I got two more to answer. And then we should be Gucci. It's, uh, from the, from the homie Caden. I haven't, Caden was like one of my best friends. If you saw, or subscriber of my old channel, you probably saw him on there. Get him out. He's up, but I don't know if it's up or down, but he's in North Dakota now. And yeah. Shout out you, Caden. This guy's just up for you. So, Caden underscore Powell. 
He was like, so, why the fuck your nose still looking like it was stolen from Shrek? True though, dude, straight up. See, everyone roasts from on my nose, dude. It's so funny, I don't even care. I, I think it's funny. I, like, I'm underscore Anthony7. Why is your friend Cody so big? Well, for starters, Cody's not even that big, but... I don't know. Because we're unhealthy boys. I, I gotta start working out stuff, though. I'm getting fat. Um, Jordan underscore so bears. So, yeah, so, so bears? I don't even know. What made you want to start writing? And I, I would assume start, like, writing skateboards. Um, I don't know. I, I'm gonna explain this story long, because I don't know if I did in the last Q&A or not. Actually, let me check. I answered when I started skating, not why. Why? Because I always kind of had a skateboard growing up, and my dad would skate. Uh, and I don't know, I'd like kind of see people doing it, and I guess it was kind of always around me, but I don't know why I started, but it's really fun, that's why. You should too. Wait, I think you're a scooter rider. Yeah, okay, that's how I know Ch Jordan. Okay, see, I, I know him. He rides for Soul Flow. And then this girl, Kaylee Skates, shout out to you. Um, first flow trick you learned and got on lock. Actually, what you may think is the first flip trick I learned was like a kick flip or a heel flip, but that's not true at all. The very first flip trick I learned, because I would couldn't even fathom heel flips at this time, and I would always like flip my kick flips down, so I would donkey kick. So the very first kick uh, like flip trick I ever learned was a varial kick flip, and I had that reasonably good. And then like I was trying to learn like tray flips and stuff before I could even do a kick flip, regular kick. So yeah. But the second trick I learned wasn't a kickflip either, it was a kickflip body varial, so like kickflip sex change. So I learned varial kickflip, then kickflip sex change, then kickflip. Yeah, so weird. And the first flip trick you got on lock? Um, kickflip. Because I had varial flips clean and decent, but not every time, so kickflip. First flip trick I ever got on lock. And you'd think after having it for so long, I would still be able to do it really good, but nope. Alright guys, so I actually think that is the end of this whole Q&A. Uh, tell me what you think. I'm trying to get back into YouTube. I want to upload twice a week right now. That's kind of what I'm going for because right now I'm uploading once every two weeks, which is awful. So if I can get twice a week, that's kind of what I'm going for. So yeah, stay tuned for more videos. Leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment below. And uh, yeah, I'll see you when I see you.